Hey guys, I'm Ashley and today I'm going to show you how to make some money with your K40 laser by making some coasters on chip builds. The first thing you need to do is import your design into Inkscape. Now for K40 Whisperer, it will do DXF files, SVG files, and G-code files. I mostly make all my designs in Illustrator and save them as SVGs and import them to Inkscape. So what you want to do is you want to ungroup your design if it is grouped which you just right click and hit ungroup and then it will separate all the different pieces of your design. Then you want to individually select the outline that you're going to cut and we want to make sure that it's the correct color so that K40 Whisperer knows what to cut out. Now something that's really important is the red line has to be the color definition of 255, right? And then the next one make sure it's zero and zero and the last one has to be 255 as well. And that's just what K40 Whisper interprets, and so that's what we need to do in Inkscape. The Hogwarts designs is fine how it is right now, black, because we're going to raster engrave that. Next thing you want to do is go to File and Document Properties. And here we're going to resize the image. We're going to make sure it's set to millimeters because that's what I have designed it as in the other program. Then we're going to click Resize Page to Artwork. And we're going to click that button and it's going to resize it, and this is an important step so that K40 Whisper knows what the size of the project is and it will be the correct size and it's not going to try to auto-correct it and mess it all up. Before I jump into the K40 Whisper software, I want to make sure that my laser is at the correct settings for me and normally I run it at about 10 milliamp. What I'll do is I'll hit the test switch just to make sure that there's power to the laser and that it is firing and so that I can see what the water temperature is before we start the project so that I know that I'm keeping track of it to add water to it if it needs to be cooled. Now these are the settings for an upgrade to K40 laser machine. I have added the air assist nozzle to it and I have pulled out the stock bed and replaced it with an expanded metal bed for the time being. I have put blue painter's tape over the material just so there's not as many burn marks and it's easier to clean up. Okay so now let's jump into the K40 Whisperer software. The first thing you want to do right off the bat is hit initialize laser cutter and that will just square up the laser head to the top left of your machine. Now you can jog the machine by using these arrows and normally for me 10 millimeters is too much so I switch it to 2. Okay so the first thing we want to do is raster engrave the coaster. Raster engrave is going to be engraving all the black parts of your design and I know that when I'm running my machine at 10 milliamps I know that 300 millimeters a second is a good speed because it's not going to be too dark and it's going to come out nice and crisp. Once you hit engrave, K40 Whisperer will then send that data to the laser through the USB cable. It only takes about 10 minutes for that one coaster to be cut out and engraved. Now that we have finished the engraving part, now it's time to do our vector cut. So you can do this in multiple passes, but this wood is so thin that I'm going to bring this down to 7 millimeters a second and hit vector cut and then it should cut out the circle nice and clean and pretty quickly as well. Okay, so one thing that you really have to be careful about with these Chinese lasers is how hot the water supply gets. So the water is constantly running through the laser tube and that's what's cooling it. So if it gets too hot, then you're gonna have a serious problem. The way that I keep track of the water temperature is with this little digital thermometer thing. You just put the one end into the water bucket and then it will tell you, so it's in Celsius, you can buy Fahrenheit. Uh, and so for me, the max rule is not to get it above 25 degrees Celsius. And when it gets around 20 degrees, then what I'll do is I'll get these cheap little lunchbox coolers and I'll just put one or two and I'll put it in the water supply and it will bring the water temperature back down to a reasonable level so that it's safe to keep using your laser.
All right, now coasters are not the only thing that I have used on this laser to make money. This is just the simplest thing and it's the easiest thing to sell in my opinion. I've had multiple orders for different custom coasters and they're really quick. One coaster takes about 10 minutes to cut. These ones are eighth inch so you can go thicker but these have been just fine.